Hey Ross, Darren here from Advantage Cars. Just doing the walk around video for you on the 2018 Subaru Outback. So this is the one here, done 105 k's we've discussed. Um, so what I'll do is I'll walk around the car, just point out anything I think you'd want to see. Um, and then I'll do the same for the inside as well. And um, you can go from there. But straight off the bat, as you can see, really tidy looking car. Um, white's probably the, the easiest color to keep clean. Um, don't know if you've ever owned a black car or a dark car. They are a bit harder than white. So um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just show you from the different angles. So as you can see, it is a really tidy car. Uh, facelift as well. So it does have a different front from that one that you sent me. So the grill's different. Um, the bottom here is different. Just a completely different um, facelifted uh, model. So I can't really compare it to that private sale. It's, it's just a different car. Um, obviously that's why it would be cheaper. So it's got all the cameras on it too, as you can see. Um, it's got the front camera and the cameras on the mirror as well. And Michelin tires all the way around, as I discussed with you on the phone. So um, X Lease, the lease company just puts the best tires possible on their cars, uh, and that's what we see with all all the X Lease cars that we we have here. So same thing on this side. All really tidy. Paintwork's great in my opinion. And then a feature with all the, the Outbacks, you've got the foldable roof racks as well that uh, flip up and then fold. So really handy. Um, you can fold them away when you're just driving so you don't have any noise or anything. So that's why they're a, a huge uh, popular option. Hopefully the camera's doing it justice of um, how nice this paintwork is. Cool. So those are those Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4s. So I'm pretty sure they're like north of $400 per tire. Wheel all looks in great condition. So a slight bit of curbing on this wheel, which um, would be happy to tidy up for you. That's all good. But yeah, used car, they do sometimes have some curbing. The good news is this side's all good. And this one looks pretty tidy too. Just a very slight bit of scuffing. But I'll point everything out just so you have um, all the information you need. But other than that, it's a really tidy looking car. Cool, so I'll go through the, I'll start with the boot. So you've got the electric boot here. Obviously being a premium model, it's all uh, automatic. Super tidy. Very light. I don't know if I'd even call that scuffing. And then a little bit of scuffing on the plastic there. But other than that, it's really tidy. And for wagons, you always see a little bit of scuffing somewhere. That That's... They're used as wagons, so no scuffing down here. All looks very clean. It's just a bit of dirt. And then you've got the button there for the, the auto boot close as well, so super handy. Cool. Door cards have this nice leather stitching, um, and this door card looks in really good condition as well. Same with these seats, all look really tidy. You've got the rear air conditioning vents back here as well and a um, charging port. And then obviously you've got the sunroof as well. Cool, that door card looks really good too, but I'll go around that side just to show you. Cool, so all really tidy.
Oh, driver's door. Same thing again, all looks really tidy. There's that sunroof again. So this car hasn't been groomed yet. It's just had a quick clean for the yard, but when a car's sold, it gets a full day spent on it. It gets cut, polished, and then a full interior valet as well. So here's what I was saying with the facelift. So you get the new modern looking screen. It's called uh, Sabaru Starlink. The previous model, including that private sale, are completely different. So small screen and just very basic buttons. But I'll turn it on to show you. So you've got all the features down here, like your uh, crash detection, lane assist, start stop, traction control, parking sensors, um, the boot opening, and your brightness of your speedo as well. So push button start, um, this particular vehicle comes with two keys. So two keys there, one spare, which is always handy to have. Um, and all really tidy throughout here, including the armrest. So I did pull a cable in here just to check. So it does have um, Apple CarPlay as well, which obviously the model before the screen doesn't. Um, but I have tested it out and the CarPlay works really well. So the maps come up and everything like that. Um, but yeah, completely different system than the non-facelift. Steering wheel is all nice and tidy. And so is the dash and the door cards. And the passenger seat is in really good nick too. So glasses holder, rear view mirror, auto dimming. Um, and then obviously your, your sunroof there, which is exclusive to the premium model. Um, yeah, cool. And you've also got a view button down here so you can turn the uh, side camera on, which helps immensely when you're trying to park. Um, what I'll do is I will open the bonnet and show you under the bonnet as well. Bear with me while I try to do this single-handedly. So, really tidy bonnet as well. And same with the, the headlights and the bumper. It's obviously being really well looked after. There's no, there's no peppering of, of stone chips all over and, and all that. So this is how we've got it. We haven't steam cleaned it or anything like that. Um, this is literally how it came to us. So as you can see, very, very tidy and very quiet. No knocking or anything like that. But as I said, that the car will undergo a 38 point AA appraisal as well. So that'll put you at uh, peace of mind. So it also comes with the eyesight, which is that adaptive cruise control I was talking about. So basically it will drive for you you just have to steer it does the braking the accelerating all of that and i think it's a really cool feature with these outbacks um i can literally get all the way home 60 k's away without having to touch the pedals uh in traffic it just brakes and starts and stops for you so really good cars one of my favorites uh we have four of them at the moment so we try to buy as many as we can uh, they're just hard to find sometimes because people do hold on to them and as you've probably seen online they can do k's and k's and k's so yeah um i think that pretty much covers it all ross if you have any more questions or i mean to take in more videos uh just let me know and i'll do that for you but um so i'll upload this to youtube and send it to you shortly cool cheers buddy